Okay, come here. Hop. Ha ha ha. We can't even call it today. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carrie, also known as Jay Ninner. And apparently we're going to sit on the chair today. Welcome to Knit Puck. Um, you can find us, well, you can find me under Jada Knitter on Rav, iTunes, no, oi. It's going to be one of those episodes where I'm falling all over myself. This is why I have show notes. Find me on Rav, Twitter, and Instagram under Jada Knitter. Uh, and you can find podcast on Rav, YouTube, iTunes under Knitpug. Come join our group in iTunes. Or in, yep, one of those days. Um, I haven't had coffee yet. I think that's the problem. Must have coffee, then podcast. I'll remember that for next week. Uh, the, the blog. Just, you know where to find me. Apparently he's not sticking around. Some days he does, some days he doesn't. What? So, bows. Actually, because I'm wearing a different sweater, I'll mention it. This is not, this is a pattern I made up a couple of years ago. Um, so it doesn't exist anymore. It's got maple leaves on the front and on the back. It is my one and only attempt at Instarsha. Intarsha? Intarsha? However you pronounce that word, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, one and only attempt, never doing it again. It came out, I just was annoying and hard to do. So, on to the knitting I will tell you about. Uh, this is the sweater I was wearing yesterday, uh, and I looked up the pronunciation, Dizorangi which I'm still trying to pronounce with a French accent. It's not. It's Dutch. The word is Dutch. <sighs> so yes, this is my Arangi sweater. It is done uh, out of Tannis Fiber Arts, uh, her fingering. And I love, 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 love uh, her stuff. She is a somewhat local to me dyer out of Montreal. Uh, this is a one absolutely wonderfully written pattern and it's free. It is off of Nitty from winter 2011, I believe. Um, one second, I had it pulled up. I should look it up. It is, yes, winter 2011 uh, and is by Weaver Knits. And she has some absolutely wonderful patterns up. Um, this one, you can probably just see it, has Latvian braid in it. It has a lot of Latvian braid. While I love the look of Latvian braid, absolutely adore it. And honestly, it is fairly simple to do. By the time I got to the yoke on this sweater, I think there was 600 some odd stitches. Latvian braid on... Latvian braid on a hundred stitches is annoying. Latvian braid on six hundred stitches? Yeah. And I did it. There are two braids. <laughs> yeah. There, there was a lot of cursing going on during that. I love how it turns out. I love how it worked. And I've done Latvian braid on other things since. But I will never again do it on the, the yoke of a card again where it's the yoke part going across my... Yeah, no. <laughs> when you're already doing a larger size, no, just six something, no. So that would be phone number one. This one I've had done for quite a few years. Um, I think this is the one, there is a steaking video out there somewhere of me, and I think it is steaking this one. Um, I will look it up and post it. I was going to do a down and dirty steaking tutorial today. I'm not going to, um, simply because I don't have time and I don't have samples done up, so I will do that at a later date. Um, trust me, it's not as bad as you all think it is. Believe me, it isn't. And this isn't even sticky wool. 
do, use sticky wool. Don't use superwash. This is superwash. <laughs> you will swear at it later. Um, so okay, Morphos. Morphos. This is this is one is completely unblocked. Uh, this is one of the two hats, or one of the three hats that I had last week. This was one of the two that I didn't have done. Um, this is the Miles to Go uh, by Yella Spiro. I'm probably mispronouncing that. And it's done of three Irish girls in Carrie's BFL. Uh, and this one is the one out of Knit Edge magazine by, uh, which is put out by Cooperative Press which, like I said last week, is a wonderful uh, publication. It has lots of good information in it, lots of wonderfully written patterns. I love anything by Cooperative Press. I really do. Um, I made a boo-boo in it. You can't tell I mixed up where the cables were supposed to point. Oh well. Um, if I ever pull out, I'll pull out my Owl's card again, probably later into the winter when I'm not going to die wearing it. <laughs> and I can point out the mistake on that one too, because I did it there too. Um, so that's that one. Uh, this is the other one that I had on the needles last week. Um, I think I finished it Sunday night, Monday night. I guess Monday. No, it would have been Sunday night because I wore it to work on Monday. Um, this is my Spin Me Right Round Baby. And it is by Serhu. Uh, whose real name is Slovak? She's Norwegian. Yes, Norwegian. And I am horrible. You give me something from Japan, I can pronounce it. English, not a problem. Latin, okay. French, we're, we're good in the Romance line. That whole Eastern European and Russia, give me a Slavic language. Yeah. Any of the Slavics, the Northern Europeans, do. I'm lost. So I'm going to apologize now because I'm going to mispronounce everything. So for some unknown reason, I try and turn it into French. <laughs> so this is um, my snood. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I'm not going to put it on, but that's how I had my hair up last week with it just sitting at the back. Uh, which is wonderful when you're going out in the mornings with wet hair uh, or if you're having a bad hair day it's great because you just kind of you do a little bit to the front and then you pin it to the back and it hides everything wonderful uh, so that's all of the foes for this week and then we're gonna do work in progress I have not done a lot of uh, knitting this week I really haven't. I haven't been feeling well for most of the week. So, yeah. I got, I actually got a fair bit done on the, I ha, oh. Did my art by Anna handmade bag. Um, soon gonna have to bump into a bigger one because I'm gonna have to bring more wool. Uh, the Hits a Feud cardigan. Like I said, Japanese, not a problem. <laughs> I took Japanese in high school, that's why I'm not having problems with it. Um, I know what the characters are supposed to sound like. Uh, this is the start of the Hit the Feud cardigan, and this is what it will look like when it's done. The camera is a lot further away than I thought it was. But, uh, it is by Hiroko Fukatsu, and it's 230 Canadian. I think it comes out to like a buck seventy. US uh, and we're doing a cowl on it until the end of the year so it started on the 1st of October goes until the end of December so join whenever you want this is all I've gotten done and I got probably 99% of this done uh, on Friday when we were doing uh, BK on the virtual knit night no ladies uh, so that's what's coming with me to Thanksgiving dinner tonight so today I don't ever remember if it's Sunday or Monday that's Thanksgiving, technically, in Canada. I know in the States it's on a Thursday. But in Canada it's... Eh, we always do it on the Sunday. So I'm going to call it Thanksgiving Sunday. So to all the Canadians out there, Happy Thanksgiving! 
uh, and hopefully you all have tomorrow off as a government worker. Stat holidays are a wonderful thing. Um, so yeah, that and that is out of the Mandarin by Sandsgarn, which someone lovingly pointed out is from Norway, um, which I greatly appreciate to that. So this is what's coming with me tonight because that's really the only thing I have on the go at the moment. Wow. I either need to pick up some of my old projects that have been lying around or cast something on. Decisions, decisions. I'll figure it out. So that's the knitting. Uh, like I said, I was going to do a quick thing on steaking. I'm not. Um, so I figured the other thing, because I've done talking about knitting techniques and whatnot, so I figure I will tools. Or more to the point, storage. Uh, this came up in a discussion with somebody on where do you keep your needles? I have over the years a lot. I love to meet some organizational tools. So I have a lot of various storage apparatus. Um, I have found I love needle rolls. This is my collection of various DPNs. Um, the longer ones. These are all my eight inches. Uh, and this is, I think it's Crippenworks off of Etsy is the name of the person who makes these. And I have two of hers and I plan on getting a few more of these. Um, so I really like, they're good and stable, everything stays in, and it's an easy, it's not a, a actual tie, it's an elastic. And they come in multiple sizes. This is the the larger one I have. Which is what I have all my uh, signatures in. This end has pocket, bigger pockets for all of the circulars and then the DPNs down here. Uh, and I like, like I said, I like needle rolls because they're, they're easy, they keep everything contained and they're portable. For me, portable is, has always been key. Um, and, well, these are the ones that my diacrafts actually came in. And they happen to fit what I want. Now, <clears throat> when I'm home, theoretically, theoretic, I say theoretically because they almost never always are, um, all of my needles are stored in here. This is something I, this is a, and apparently a tube of lipstick. I, it, there's knitting in my bathroom, so I, I guess my makeup figured it needed, I don't know. Um, I need to clean this out. I have no idea what these things are. <laughs> but yeah, this is. Yeah, you know, needle storage just keeps it all. It's all of my packages fit, and I do have, and I do actually really like this. Um, this is one of the the older Namaste needle cases. I think they still make these, um, and it's just a, a folio, which realistically you can buy these at Walmart for receipts and stuff, and they will work just as well. And I've got all of my. Uh, various circulars sorted into there. These are kind of my miscellaneous sizing. All the random ones I've picked up over the years and can't seem to get rid of. I might have a small pack rat tendency. Actually, since I'm here, I'll just drop these back in here. But yeah, I find for needles, at least having somewhere to stash them. That's what I do with them. Like I said, needle rolls, because I can throw these in a, in a bag when I'm going out. Because yes, I have been known to take the entirety of my needle collection, well, an entire set of needles with me. Um, but yeah, having them 
stored in a way where you know where they all are. So we'll open, oops, open this one back up again because that's the prime example is with things like DPNs where they're all, like the whole set of five is all in one pocket together and I've got them all sized from, I don't know if those are 2.25s or twos. And it doesn't say, of course not. Now having needles that actually say the size on them is always useful. I have a whole whack of needle gauges. I basically have one stuffed in almost all of these. Um, but yeah, having them all separated out so that you know where they are, it's always a nice thing. And it also means when you're going to go sit down to knit and you grab a ball of yarn to start a project, you can just grab an entire roll and know that the size is probably in there, even if it's not actually the size you need, there's going to be one in there that you can use. So Etsy is your friend for these, but so is, you know, you can get the binders with the CD uh, holders. Circulars fit in the CD holders wonderfully. Uh, DPNs, Ziploc bags, or elastics. Uh, for the longest time I had mine just with an elastic on it and I put a little tag on it to say what the size was. Um, I've used the paper tubes uh, that you can get from, I think I got mine from Nitpicks, but a lot of stores sell them. They're from uh, I, forget, I forget now who produces them, but they're all good. That's pretty much it for today. That's it. That's all. That's all she wrote. Or didn't write in my case, because I didn't really write much in the way of show notes. Uh, so yeah, uh, hit the feed card again. The cowl is still going on. Hint of cold. Cowl is still going on. That one is both knit and crochet. So it's just something, knit something for winter. Something to keep you or someone you love warm. Mitts, hats, scarves, uh, gloves. Baby items. I will take baby items because they're still small. Um, and that one is actually going to have prizes, most likely. It is running until the end of the year. Um, and I've had a couple of people come up and say they're willing to donate prizes. And I will actually give you guys a preview. Let me put it up here. A uh, preview of one of the prizes. Now, this one is not going to. Um, this one is going to have a giveaway all its own. It is from uh, eh. Eh, it doesn't have her shop name on it. Knipes. <sighs> yep, I'm completely not ready. I meant to show this to and you are not going to be barking, young man. Mm hmm. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Hello, sir. There it is. Uh, it's Atelier Yarns. It's Meg from Australia who owns it. And this is going to be, yes, um, off of Etsy. So there's her shop. And I will post the shop name. Hi. We're in my way. And she's going to send out a lovely skein of purple lace weight of this stuff to one lucky winner. Um, so go check her stuff out. I will be doing, I will be thinking up an idea for a draw and I will open it probably next week. Maybe not. You'll have to come back and see. Um, 
It is, is 80% merino, 20% silk, and it's 875 yards of lace weight. Soft and squashy. So yeah, there will be some of that coming up. So tune in. And that's it. That's all. I gotta get going because I'm going to be late. I'm supposed to be at my parents for Thanksgiving dinner. And I gotta meet my friend to catch the bus. So, happy crafting everyone. We will see you uh, next week. Yes? Bye.